framing it. Like for instance, let's we brought this up last time, Stacy. You know, back in October, one of the biggest losses of your life was the loss of your mom. Very painful. You even were very honest and said it was hard to get out of bed, but you would get out of bed. Why? Why did you? What would you say yeah. to yourself to get out of bed? Uh, you know, I would wake up every day and and think it's going to be better today, and I would feel that same feeling of you know I still feel like I did yesterday, and I would be tempted. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, I think part of the reason I got out of bed is because I don't want to tell you, <laughs> Mister Optimist, that I stayed in bed all day. Yeah. So that was a motivation, but really the motivation for me was. I knew what I wanted, and I knew that for me to stay in bed would just set a chain in motion for me to stay in bed the next day. Yeah. And so I just fought against it. Um, it didn't mean I jumped out of bed with joy. Um, I might even stay home all day, but I did get out of bed and uh, because I knew that it would get better at some point. Yeah. Um, it makes me think about, you know, back in February, you may remember this, we were on the square at Recycled Books. And... Um, you love to go to recycle books. Yes. So I went in willingly again <laughs> to get you a book. Facing the stress. But I really was just kind of not in a great mindset. Yeah. And uh, I remember walking into the, the aisle that you were in, and uh, there was a book that was displayed, as they sometimes do. They'll display a book on a little stand. And it, was, it caught my attention because mm. it said, What Keeps You Up at Night? The title was What Keeps You Up at Night, and by uh, author Pete Wilson, I believe. And so it caught my attention because I was having a lot of insomnia. And, yeah. and to my surprise, the book became a real pivotal point mm -hmm. for me in my mindset. Um, I was having a really tough time just breaking out of, of some thought patterns that I was having about my mom. And essentially in this book, he's talking about not letting um, uncertainty or fear kind of keep you on the sidelines mm -hmm. and just making the decision you know, to live or not. Um, and I think we all kind of know what that means because um, I was really stuck in this place of stagnation and, and maybe even victim, a victim mentality. And so um, I began reading this book and it really uh, helped transform my mindset and mm. helped me to really reframe things. It doesn't mean it all went away. Um, I think it's a, a real proactive uh, position that you have to take every day of your life or it just comes right back yeah. for some people. Um, and there's a, there was a quote in there. I remember that he said, you don't typically get clarity at the start line. Mm -hmm. You only get clarity as you begin to take steps towards the finish line. And so it's just taking those steps. And so I began doing that and began reading this and really trying to reframe my thoughts. And, um, again, it's not a, it's not a quick fix, but I do believe that uh, there's things that we can do that help us to transform the way that we think about things and yeah. about the stressors and the pain in our lives. 